want to take you now to the border because that's where National Guardsmen were seen kind of pulling that razor wire that we talked about while those were moving heavy storms were moving through El Paso. So they had to move it out of the way so no one would get hurt. The Texas Military Department, though, says the barrier is going to be rebuilt. It's going to go back up to discourage any illegal crossings, which Ken touched on yesterday. And again, most of that by order of the Texas governor. Mm -hmm. Meantime, our Ken Molestina, also in El Paso, where the city has been overwhelmed with migrant crossings of late. Uh, Ken, you've been there for more than 24 hours now. What has changed since yesterday, if anything? Yeah, well, the big change is something uh, that we can't uh, physically see with the naked eye right now. Uh, but the change is that the numbers are starting to go down. Earlier today, uh, I spoke with a CBP official uh, who explained to me that at their height uh, over the weekend on Saturday, they had 2,000 migrants illegally cross in just one day. He said that number is now down uh, by a third. And uh, the credit for that uh, is, is due to a program uh, that uh, they're referring to as mirrored patrolling where the uh, border counterparts on the south side of the border, the Mexican authorities in this case, have also stepped up enforcement. They're also uh, using roadblocks. Uh, they are using uh, different checkpoints. Uh, they are detaining and in some cases even deporting migrants down in Mexico. So the idea here is that they're stopping the masses from coming all the way up here uh, and, and making it to the border. So that's that's the big change. Uh, that's a program that started a few days ago uh, and CBP over here on this side uh, is saying uh, in large part uh, that is the reason why they're starting to see a dwindling uh, in some of the numbers of apprehensions at the border. Yeah, that would make sense if we're seeing this from both sides, Ken. But I want to ask you, how are the authorities down in Mexico yeah. kind of joining in this effort to help de detour those illegal crossings? Because we touched on that yesterday, the difference in folks that were crossing illegally and the, and the difference in folks who were crossing to seek asylum. Well, uh, you know what what they've done again. Uh, they they they've stepped up their enforcements, uh, and they call it a, a a mirror patrol because what they're doing essentially is they're using the model that uh, the U.S. border officials are are are, are taking, where they apprehend uh, migrants and detain them, and in many cases deport them. So they're doing the same thing in Mexico. So, for example, they have deep into Mexico, even uh, all the way south, uh, as, as as far south as the Guatemalan border with Mexico, they have set up different checkpoints uh, throughout of these known routes that the migrants are taking. Uh, so they're looking for them down there. Uh, when they identify them as migrants that are trying to come this way, they're trying to dissuade them from coming here. In some cases, they even detain them. Uh, and Mexico also has their own immigration laws that they're using now uh, to uh, repatriate or to deport uh, many of the migrants. So the idea here, once again, is that if you can stop the masses far further south from this border, deep into Mexico, then that will alleviate uh, sort of the situation that we've been seeing play out here over the last uh, few days here in El Paso at, at this border. All right, makes sense. Ken Molestina in El Paso for us. We appreciate you. Yep. And Ken's going to be staying in El Paso, of course, through the night tonight. Expect a full report when we see you for CBS News Texas on Channel 11 at 10 o'clock. You can also catch all of our coverage on Pluto TV and or CBSNewsTexas.com.